I know it in my head. I got it up here. But I don't have it down here. How come? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Beerman, and I'm so glad you stopped by here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. You'll find me at Metaphysical Ministry International. Com. What's a metaphysical ministry? It's the explanation of how you create your reality and the fact that 99% of what goes on in the world, you can't perceive it using your five senses. So awakening to your spirituality, understanding how the universe actually works, it's not just going to enrich your life, it's going to make your life Flows. Start every week with a happy share. Now that's something that leaves you feeling happy, at peace. And it's something for you, not for your family member or your friend or your spouse. It's something that leaves you feeling in that space. So my happy share this week is I'm so excited because I've been going through a major healing crisis. When I do things, I never do anything little. I always do it in a big way. And I went through a healing crisis <laughs> to rid my body of uh, mess parasites. We all have good parasites, and we all have bad parasites inside. And I never lot, but I had some seriously bad, dangerous parasites. And my body said, we're not going to take three to six months like it takes everybody else. We're going to wipe most of this out in two weeks. So that's what happened. <laughs> And I'm very happy to say my body's back to normal and I feel absolutely fabulous. So getting back to what's going on, when you feel something, when you know something in your brain, and it's just not getting in your heart, and therefore you're not able to manifest it. Well, first of all, just a quick note. When you know something, it's not just something you're aware of. When you know something, you live it. So chances are whatever you're saying you know, you don't know it because to know something, it's not enough to be up here. It's got to be down here too. And in fact, it has to be there in a certain way so that your brain waves match your heart waves. It's called coherence. And you can find out more about how that works over at heartmath.com. Um, I'll put the link down below so that you can find it easily. For many, many years, the people at HeartMath have been creating courses and creating instruments, ways to measure for the people who are skeptic, for the people who are left brain, to demonstrate what people who live in their spirituality have known for thousands of years. The energy from your heart is far more powerful than the energy that comes from your brain. In fact, the instruments that they developed over at HeartMap show, at least the last time I heard, that your heart energy goes out from your body for 12 feet, while your brain energy, it only goes out 4 feet. So, there's a discrepancy, it's quite a marked one, and truthfully, in my practice, or especially if I'm teaching, I have a very simple way. I have my own devices for measuring the energy from your heart. And it goes way farther than 12 feet. It goes farther than 30 feet. It goes 400 to feet. Probably infinitely many. And teach people how to control their energy, because when your energy spread that far, guess what happens? Anybody who wanders through your wide open energy, you get impacted very heavily by it. Now, everybody gets impacted by everybody else's energy. So I'm just telling you it's important to know how to bring your energy in when you need to. So getting back to heart versus brain. Now, you're here, so you probably know what chakras are. So here's an interesting thing about healing and manifesting. 
If you live in chakras one through three, you're living in your physical body. If you live down there in your physical body, those are chakras below your heart, you're not going to be able to manifest things because that takes being in touch with your spirituality, with your higher self, with a higher power. And it's becoming aware of your heart and your heart energy and opening it up and connecting to it that allows you to connect the lower chakras with your upper chakras your spiritual chakras if you live in your spiritual chakras and you're somebody who says oh I got this problem in my life and you think the thought and you put it out and you have if not an instant healing you have a healing that's instantly given to you that will show up in your awareness when the timing divine timing is perfect for you to take advantage of whatever it is. But if you're living in your lower chakras, it doesn't matter how many times you say affirmations about being happy and healthy. Ain't gonna happen because you have this major disconnect. So what are you going to do today to become aware of where's your energy? you live in your lower physical body or do you live in your spirit or is your heart connecting vibrantly alive and connecting both I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman you'll find me at metaphysical ministry international dot com and what you can do right now well, two things. I want you to go down below and write down what you're going to do today to discover, well, is your heart part of how you're living your life? Or are you in fact stuck down there and unable to make things happen just from up here?